The next action I want to show you is to toggle between the touch and trim automation modes. So the project set up here, and I want to automate this track. Typically, we can just right-click this button and choose the automation modes right here. Write, latch, touch, or read, or back to trim read. But if you're like me, you tend to use touch mode the most. So I can just right-click it, go to touch mode, and start to write some automation. And what's great about it is it only writes automation when we touch the fader. So we could do things like this. And every time I let go of the fader, it jumped back to the original level. And we're done, I'll put it back to trim read so I could trim the result. So typically, I use those two automation modes the most. Now there's actions already created for each one of these automation modes. As we can see, if we go to the actions menu, show action list, and type in automation mode, there's an action for each one of the automation modes. But again, the one I use the most is touch mode and switching back to trim mode. And luckily, there's an action just for that, right here. So toggle the track between touch and trim read modes. So instead of creating a toolbar button with all these modes or keyboard shortcuts for each of them, I just create one for this one. Hit add, add a keyboard shortcut. Of course, you can use any keyboard shortcut you prefer. So now we could just select this track, hit that keyboard shortcut, and it switches it to touch mode. Hit the keyboard shortcut again, it goes back to trim read. So very quickly, we can jump back and forth without having to right click this menu as the touch automation mode and the trim read are my most used automation modes. Just select the track, hit the keyboard shortcut, and I'm ready to go. Hit it again, and we're back to Trim Read. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.